All right, you guys, today we'll check out how to make the new Fanta logo from 2023 rebrand, which basically looks something like this. So the original is the top one, and this is the new logo, but somewhere I did found this version as well, and I don't know where I found and what is this, but it's similar to this one, and I recreated the bottom version. So let's do this. And I'm gonna select the type tool, type in Panther, and I'm gonna choose the Arison Comic Demo Regular. Now this is a demo font because I couldn't find the original to purchase it. So if you are the author of the font, reach out to me and I shall buy it. So I'm gonna go with this font because it's similar to the new Fanta logo font. Now, of course, the lines are way straighter here and I cannot download the original Fanta font, so we're gonna need to improvise. But as you can see here, the letters are mixed up. You can see the letter F is more up, the letter A is more down and so on and so forth. So we're gonna need to do the same exact thing, but in an undestructive way. So I'm gonna select the text, long click on the type tool and check this out. We got a touch type tool selected and select one of the letters. I'm gonna go with the letter A and look at this. You can customize it, drag it up or drag it down, however you like. And you also can, by the way, rotate it from here. And you can select all the letters one by one and customize them. I remember I did a tutorial back then with this and designers came to me that it is useless. So here you can see that it's going to be useful quite a bit. Okay, after you're done with the composition, we're gonna go here to the appearance and let's go down here to the corner and you can see this little square. Click on it. This is by the way, the stroke. And you can see up here, we got the stroke and down underneath, you got the fill. All you need to do is drag and drop the stroke on under the fill, select the fill and change the color to white. And let's go to the stroke and I'm gonna change the stroke color. We got a special blue here. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna increase the stroke thickness. Now let's go to the appearance and click here at the characters. Click on it and let's go to the effects. Go up to the 3D materials. Let's go to 3D classics and select a rotate classic. From here, I'm gonna need to rotate this more in perspective how it was in the example. And to make the magic happen, all you need to do is go to the perspective and increase the perspective. So the letter P is going to get bigger and bigger and the letter R is gonna get smaller. Click OK. Let's go again to the appearance. Make sure that you're on the characters. Let's go to the effects again. Go to distort and transform and select the transform. And here we're gonna create the extrusion. So we're gonna go to the copies and we're gonna increase it quite a bit. I'm gonna go somewhere around 100. Let's go to scale, decrease it to 98, vertical 98. And we're gonna go to the move and we're gonna move it to the left and move it also down vertically. So it looks something like this, click OK. Now I'm gonna go here to the left, click on the stroke, click on the none, click on the fill and I'm gonna select the orange color Select the circle, press and hold shift, create a circle, right click, arrange, send to back. And I'm gonna select the circle again, press control C, go to edit, paste in front. It's gonna create another copy on the top, right click, arrange, bring to front, swap it from field to stroke, select the stroke. And I'm gonna press and hold shift, also select the text, right click, make clipping mask. And here we got the fully editable, non-destructive Fanta logo, where you can select the type tool, just select one of the letters, rename it, and it's gonna look like the Pokemon logo. So this was it, guys. This is how we make the new Fanta logo in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.